Hello Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. This is your love scope for the last two weeks of August. So let's see what's in store for you and your soul connection. The person you're watching this for. What's going on for the last two weeks of August? We have lost, we have divine love, and we have perception. So in the last two weeks of August, what I'm seeing here, Cancerians, is that you might have thought that this love was lost, but it actually is. This is a divine love. This is about shifting your perception of things shifting your perception of how you perhaps view this connection and view it as something that is lost to you that this person is lost to you lost to you you can't find your way back but what i'm getting from this is that this is a divine love first of all it's not lost it's just not visible to you right now you can see your path clearly here you need to shift your perception of how you see these things what you think about you bring about when you shift your per perception you change the outcome of things but let's dig in a little deeper to this so I'm gonna look at lost tell me more about lost tell me more about lost we have Queen of Swords here. I want another perceptive here. So again, it's about how you see things. And we have the Ace of Swords with truth and clarity. So, and the Queen of Swords, I mean, swords are about your, your the headspace, mental space. And this too, especially the um, Queen of Swords here, she's about someone who brings the truth. Um, she doesn't do it in a cold manner, but she brings the truth. She is able to see things from a different perspective, a different point of view. She thinks, sees things clearly. We also have the Ace of Swords here. Aces are new beginnings. We have truth and clarity here. You have truth. You need to shift your perception when it comes to what you think is lost to you. Um, and once you shift that, perception you will see the truth and you'll have clarity when it comes to this connection you will have a, a new beginning when it comes to this connection tell me more about divine love tell me more about divine love We have Six of Pentacles. This is a equal give and take in the material world when it comes to this, this, um, this connection. This is about um, this divine love. Once you see that clarity, once you, when you hear the truth, see the truth, you will start. This this connection will also have get balance and equal give and take. We have the Five of um cups here so again this loss what you think is lost to you is not you've been blinded by grief perhaps so that you only see what is has been what is lost to you not what is still there traditional tarot it's a, a person standing there and there's these cups around him three cups are spilled over and those are the cups that the person is focusing on and if if that person were to turn around they would see those two cups that are still standing behind them and this is about you again shifting your perception your percep perspective not focusing on the cups that have been spilled but focus on the cups that are still there and while you're doing that tap into yourself tap into your inner voice with this high priestess card here you have the knowledge within you are intuitive, so tap into that and listen to your inner voice. Don't listen to the uh, voices 
in your headspace, your ego, your pride, telling you, you know, this is lost to you. you. You can't come back to this. And, you know, this is a general reading, by the way. So please take what resonates and leave the rest. This is not going to be applicable for everyone. But listen to your intuition. You know deep down inside that this is not lost to you. So listen to that voice. Listen to that guidance. And we have the Hierophant here. Commitment. So what you think is lost to you is not. This is a divine love. This is a committed relationship. The Hierophant is someone who wants to come in and be and have a commitment. Something that is balanced. Something that... Um, can grow so that's why divine love is here tell me more about perception we have the eight of swords yes stop trapping yourself in your head get out of your head get into your heart space don't let yourself um stay victimized by your pride and ego where you're in a place where you can't see past what was lost to you what happened to you what um they might have done to you the person you're watching this for it's time for yourself to release yourself from your mind prison set yourself free enter your heart space tap into your intuition shift your perception cancerians I'm a concern myself. I know I can have this elaborate uh, imagination. And I always, sometimes I always think the worst and I build up all these scenarios in my head. But it's time to shift our perception. What we think about, we bring about. When we shift our perception, we change the outcome. Cancerians, that is your reading. I hope you enjoyed that. Please like, comment, subscribe, share if you feel so inclined. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you. Bye.